It begins with a deafening roar, an inferno beneath a tower of steel and circuitry as a rocket trembles and claws its way skyward. But behind this raw spectacle lies an unforgiving truth. Escaping Earth isn't just about power. It's a precise battle against gravity, governed by math, physics, and fuel. To leave Earth's grip, a rocket must reach escape velocity, an astonishing 11, 2 kilometers per second, or about 33 times the speed of sound. This doesn't mean rockets instantly blast off at that speed. Rather, they must build enough energy to break free from the gravitational pull entirely without being pulled back. But here's the challenge. Earth's gravity is relentless, and the deeper a craft is in the gravity well, the more energy it needs to get out. This is where staging comes in. Rockets are built in segments, or stages, that detach as they run out of fuel. Each stage carries just enough propellant to push the remaining parts higher and faster. Why? Because fuel itself has weight, and lifting that weight requires even more fuel. It's a compounding problem. Carry too much fuel, and the rocket becomes too heavy to move. Carry too little, and you never make it to orbit. It's a balancing act refined through over a century of trial, failure, and breakthrough. Enter Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, a 19th century Russian schoolteacher who, in theory alone, cracked one of the biggest challenges in rocketry. His rocket equation describes how a vehicle's change in velocity is directly linked to the mass it starts with, the mass it ends with, and the speed at which fuel is expelled. The formula revealed a brutal reality. To gain even modest speed increases, the required fuel grows exponentially. This is why modern rockets like the Falcon Heavy or NASA's SLS are massive. Most of what you see on the launch pad isn't payload or crew. It's fuel tanks and engines, all designed just to break free of Earth's gravity. And once they're high enough, moving fast enough and past the worst of our atmosphere, only then can a small capsule or satellite continue onward, whether to orbit, the moon, or Mars. So the next time you see a rocket rise, remember, it's not just defying gravity, it's overcoming a century of physics, fueled by the dream of leaving Earth behind.